All right, so I'm coming to you today with another unboxing. This time uh, it's an aerator. And uh, I got this guy to pull behind my, well, UTV or lawnmower. But it's that time of year where you've got to uh, do the grass planting and uh, loosen up the soil a bit. So this guy's going to do a great job of it. And uh, we're going to put it together and then try it out and see how it works. So I'm excited. I'm ready to go. Let's do it. All right, so here's what it comes with, all the different parts and pieces. Our manual, lots of bolts and nuts. And all the uh, tines. And the main body of the aerator. Of course, the end pieces. So we're gonna put all this together. Do it. All right, so one thing you'll notice is that the uh, the uh, axle is going to go through just these plastic bushings, so I'm not sure how how well that will wear over time. But maybe it's fine. Maybe the whole shaft turns, and uh, and these are just keeping the gap uh, in place. But uh, there's no bearing or any uh, uh, type of a lubricating friction preventing device so that's it it's the plastic and in, in between so uh, other than that everything else uh, it seems pretty decent the steel is pretty heavy uh, we'll see when it's all together but it seems all right it's you know for what it for what it costs it, it's, it seems really well made so we'll keep going and finish getting this together All right, so safety tip. I have just keep nicking. I've got a bandit on it because it's bleeding so much. And I've nicked my thumb now too. These little puppies are really sharp. So uh, safety tip, um, put on gloves, which I'm gonna go get some right now so I don't cut myself up anymore. Uh, but I guess it's a good thing. It'll dig into the ground real well, but uh, it'll also dig into your skin pretty easily. So uh, I barely, Felt like I barely grazed that and of course it just started this one's not too bad the other one was just gushing so I had to shut it off all right <laughs> Thank you. 
pretty good got it all together and uh, just need to throw the concrete blocks on it which I purchased now in the video or excuse me yeah I think it was a video or in photographs they showed bungee cords so <clears throat> it didn't come with bungee cords I assume that means I need to get my own but that's not a problem they're pretty inexpensive but the bungee cords will hold the uh, concrete blocks in place because otherwise they will bounce out all over so, I have to uh, admit, <laughs> I put a lot of things together, and uh, I don't think I've ever had this many parts left. That's what was left. I think I could find a place for those washers, but uh, I followed the instructions pretty carefully. Good instructions, by the way. But two bolts, a bunch of nuts, and two washers left. So, they must go on here somewhere. I'll look a little closer, but... Uh, I think it's kind of funny because I, I never have parts left over. So either I did something wrong or they just have extra parts in there. Anyway, it's pretty cool. Hope you like it. I'll, uh, it's getting a little dark now, but tomorrow I'll take it out and uh, video just a little bit more so that you can see how it works. And of course, I'm sure you've already figured out the handle is to release. I uh, need some weight on it to do it, but it's so that, uh, you can drop it down so that the tines go into the ground or you can lift up so you can just uh, freewheel without it digging up your ground if you're getting from point A to point B. So anyway, hope you like it. We'll find out how well it works tomorrow and I'll finish this video and get it out for you all. All right, so I started putting this together um, with the concrete blocks. I cut out some of the cardboard just so it didn't scratch all the paint up so badly the first day I have it. But um, I noticed something that is uh, kind of strange to me. The holes are um, not really in very good place for the, for the block. So I'm going to have to figure something out here because I guess if I put the blocks up close together, I might be able to get over just a little piece of each one. But it seems like they would have put them... A little bit differently or more of them so that you could actually really hook bungee cords on there so uh, I may go back and look at the video that was on the website for this because this doesn't make any sense um, I guess I'll try moving the blocks in together for now but just thought I'd mention that since that's not really what I was expecting the other thing that I noticed was that it's very hard to get the bungee cord hook in there when the block is on there so tried to put it on first and slide the block in place. I don't know if that's going to work or not, but yeah, I guess I got it. Hopefully it stays on there. It doesn't seem like it's in the hole very well, but we'll see.
All right, so uh, did a pretty good job. Uh, I figured out how to put the bungee cords on there in a way. I'll show you in a second uh, so that they didn't, the blocks didn't move around anymore. So uh, overall, pretty happy with it. It's doing a good job. I'll show you uh, I don't know if you can see this very well, but not a bad job. I went over it a, a couple times, a couple different directions, but um, it looks like it's doing doing what it's supposed to do. So I think this is a, a rig I'll be able to use a lot. And uh, I hope this video has helped you see what it looks like and how I put it together and general comments. Uh, and by the way, there's how I put the straps on there so that uh, it kept it from moving. And I finished all of my lawn with, uh, with it like that and didn't move a bit. So I'm pretty happy with that. I think that's the way I'm going to keep it from now on. And uh, anyway. Hope you uh, hope you enjoyed this. Found it helpful. Take care. All right. So after I finished the video and I said goodbye to everybody, I noticed a couple spots I missed. So I um, went ahead and did a little bit more aerating on a couple spots that I missed. And then just now when I got rid of the power wash, I noticed something that didn't look right. One of the tines, evidently the weld broke loose and it's now shuffled all the way over to the side. It's supposed to be over here, right there. So, I'm not sure about the quality. This is the first time I've used it, but anyway, um, the manufacturer does have, Agrifab has a three year warranty on this. So I guess I'll reach out to the manufacturer and um, ask them to send me a new, a new one of these whole a tine mount things and try again hopefully i don't have any more break off i mean that's kind of surprising the very first time i use it so i don't know I, I maybe i should have spent more money but i didn't you know i only use it twice a year so i didn't think i would need something super heavy duty and i don't have that much property to, with grass at least to, to aerate so anyway sorry to end on a bad note but uh up until now i was really happy so i'm still I'm fairly happy with it, but uh, it's a little concerning that, that broke so easily.